We travel now to Howard Beach, New York, home of Nick Yoka. Nick is obsessed with recreating classic scenes from the film E.T., as in extraterrestrial. So this is it. This is my E.T. room. Nick has been obsessed with E.T. since his first encounter with the movie 22 years ago at the age of three. This is um, E.T. talking doll that my grandfather gave me that one, one of the ones that I plan on being buried with. And he, he just said E.T., E.T., E.T. How many times have I seen E.T.? How many fish are in the sea? Nick decided to remodel his apartment after the E.T. Universal Studios tour and to give tours of his own. Well, usually a line to get in. I have a sign outside. There's not always a 10 minute wait like the sign says, but there is a wait. So I was like, if Universal Studios has a chain, why don't I? So I picked up this one. It looks just like the one from E.T. Adventure and it works perfect. He was like obsessed with this chain. I was at hardware stores like explaining chains to him on the phone to get like the perfect chain. And I, I just stand behind the chain and laugh at them because they can't get in because it's actually a weight. Are you gonna ask people to pay in pay to see this? Welcome to my ET room. Although he works an entry-level job, Nick spends a third of his yearly income to rent an apartment for his ET shrine. You can feel it. It's almost like he's coming out of the poster. This is my hat from when I was a little kid. I used to wear it for school, and I still have the same size head. This is original rappers from, from 1982. He ate the Reese's Pieces, though. What's yeah, the point of keeping the wrapper? Because it says E.T. on it. So? If it says E.T. on it, it could be entertainment tonight. If it says E.T. on it, I think <laughs> I'll take it. Dude, where were you? Sorry. Oh, we got to get going here. But Nick's obsession doesn't stay behind closed doors. Every year, he takes it outside and recreates the movie's iconic Halloween rescue scene for New York's Halloween parade. Everyone put their hoods up. If you want to do the E.T. parade with me, you have to have a BMX, of course. No way fans or butts about that. Red sweatshirt, same thing. It's a uniform. You have to have that on. Can you pull your hood up anymore? If we're going to represent, you got you to gotta look good, you know? But this special red sweatshirt is not just for the ride. Nick dresses like E.T.'s best friend, Elliot, every day. I like the hood kind of like this. <laughs> Andy, you need a bigger shirt, dude. It's my little sister. I know. I'm starting to see your stomach. I don't want to. All right. Um, you'll stay here for now and just watch us. Get a bigger sweatshirt by the time the parade is if you're gonna do it, don't do it half-assed. <laughs> do it, you know, just do it correct. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just get that fixed. All right. With the rest of us, we're gonna go for a ride. Every moment of the ride must be perfect, down to the last detail. So Nick makes his riders practice until they get it exactly right. Riding around with the, the E.T. soundtrack and just with the red hood up and with the E.T. in the front and just gave, gave me chills. It'd be awesome if we actually picked up and flew away <laughs> on the street. <laughs> Sometimes he brings Reese's Pieces to throw and he'll be throwing them and or someone will say E.T. go home and he'll be like, that's not what they say. E.T. suck the <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, drive by five more times, ah, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm doing this for me, not for you, so. He should get a sign that says we'll work for E.T. That's yeah. what he should do. It's like an avalanche snare. This room's too small, it's busting out. It's good. Nick should take that flying bike back to the factory. I think he got a dud. 